Okay. Done. And save it as well tree. Yes. All right. Lastly, we can file, save as, save as well for. Okay. Okay, so now this file is well for. Save. You can see well for. Yes. All right. And check this one. That should be the same. Done. Same PVT. Okay, same PVT. Well for Engman. Done. The IPR should be the same or should be different. Now the reservoir thickness is 80 feet. Drainage area smaller, only 300 acres. And also the perforation interval 80 feet. All the thickness of the reservoir is perforated. Okay. And for the mechanical geometrical skin, 25, 6, 2.5, perforation length 8, perforation efficiency 1, damage zone thickness 6 inches, rest damage zone permeability 12 milliDarcy's, crust zone thickness 0.5, crust zone permeability 6 milliDarcy's, Short facing 120, well radius 0 0.354, vertical permeability 2.5. Keep the deviation and partial penetration skin. Yeah, you can you can check this number. This number will be changed if I click calculate. All right, there. And now the absolute open flow is 162 million standard cubic feet per day. Okay. Click plot results. Done. This is the IPR. Okay. The IOF skin and perforation skin. Finish done let me check again for the mechanical and geometrical skin this this okay eight all right okay okay so now Click done. Now check the well configuration, deviation survey, downhill equipment, geothermal gradient, edit. Again, the tra trajectory is the same. You can check again the plot, the same trajectory. Finish, done the same well configuration and the same geothermal gradient. So very easy, right? Done. Done. Okay, lastly, calculation, nodal analysis, system IPR and VLP. Let's check if we have high well head pressure of 1000 PSIG. Click calculate. Show calculating data. Yeah, although we have high top node pressure or high well head pressure or high back pressure, but we can still operate at high gas rate of 99 because basically we have good influx the reservoir performance the ipr is good so that's why we have 
the intersection between IPR and VLP quite high, which gave us operating gas rate at 99 million standard cubic feet per day. Okay, you can plot, system plot, plot all cases, done. Okay, so far so good. So we have constructed four wells to make sure, click save. Okay, so in the previous video, we have constructed the reservoir using Ambel software. In this video, we constructed four wells, which are typical, but they have different IPRs. Okay, we have constructed four wells and the four wells will produce the gas from the reservoir. So we will connect the reservoir with these four wells and then connect the four wells with the production facility, production network. And the network, the system will be modeled, will be simulated using GAP software. GAP software, G-A-P, GAP, and we will discuss about GAP software in the next section, okay? So see you again.